Well, after all that effort, of basically rebuilding all of the drivetrain from the clutch backwards, it fucking seized up yesterday, which is possibly the crank. So it's pull the engine out job now. Have the radiator off first. Take all the manifolds off, distributor off. And hopefully I can just drop the engine out the bottom then. And hopefully I can swap the crank out for one from one of my part engines. Hey, sun's out. I got cold beer. Let's get to it. Well, that is the engine technically out. Next issue is getting the car off of it. <laughs> there we go. I think that will just about give me enough room to pull the engine out. Not sketchy at all, jacking that up. <laughs> well, three and a half beers later, and the engine's out. So next, I'll pull the gearbox make some room in the garage, then strip the bottom end off and see what's fucked. <sighs> Hopefully this comes up on video, but you shouldn't get this sound when you tip an engine over. Something has very much let go in there. Right, that's all the sump bolts loose. So for what I've done is knock it loose. So uh, let's have a look at the carriage. That's never a good sound, is it? Ooh, shit. Hmm, interesting. So that's when the pickup's been smashed to shit. There's a nut. Two washers. And the bearing cap. Sorry. So we got a bolt missing from the middle crank journal, or a stud even. Two washers in the sump, and a nut. Oh, there we go. There's the other stud. Interesting. can't quite see if it's actually snapped, well I'm 99% sure it is, because that's going to be under this cover here. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'll remove the oil pump, and yeah, that middle bearing cap is chewed to fuck. So, next job get the actual crank out and fingers crossed there isn't too much damage where the shell cap's got to sit in here so I can replace the crank so we'll see well that's the crank out and um, yeah that's fucked <laughs> but looking at the block doesn't look too bad. So now I've got to make the decision. Do I take the crank out of the other 850 parts engine I've got and stick it in here? And the 850 parts engine turns freely and has compression. Or do I clean that one up, give it a check over, and put that in the car? Uh, not quite sure what to do at the moment. I'll have to have a think about that and have a 
chat with a couple of people that have been helping me out and then go from there. I mean, this is a yellow top engine. The 850 I've got parts one is not a yellow top, which is a standard 850, but I'm pretty sure I've got a distributor that will go on it. I'll just have to swap the points over. And if I use the 850, like I said, the spares one, it is a lot tidier. Hang on. It does look a lot cleaner under the valve cover than the current engine that's now shacked. It does turn. All moves fine. Yeah, um, if I do, I'll swap the flywheel over. I got to double check that that flex plate fits my exhaust um, gearbox. Yeah, we shall see.